Hey coolies, welcome back to my channel. This is a how to jumble fold locks tutorial. Let's get into it. I'm starting off with some Cuban twist uh, braiding hair. I have three colors. I have one B, 27 and 33. I also have some pre-dreaded hair that looks like this that I use. And the products that I'm using is, um, thank God I'm not true, green tea leave-in conditioner. I also have the Mayel, I think that's how you pronounce it, Mayel Twisting <laughs> Souffle. I'm so stupid, I can't, it smells so good, y'all. Mm. Yes. And I have my favorite edge control, I forgot what it's called, don't ask me. I have it in the description box. <laughs> Why do I look like that? All right, whatever. So I already got most of my hair done. I'm gonna start off by sectioning my hair. Girl, go faster. Okay, I'm gonna take some of that leave-in conditioner and apply it to my hair. I make sure I apply a lot to my ends. Then I'm gonna go over it with some of that twisting souffle. Comb it out a bit. Get all the knots and tangles out of your hair. I'm gonna put my edge control on the front and back of my hair. Then I'm gonna part it how I want it to lay. Damn, I'm just so extra, y'all. All right, so I went in, put some more of that twisting souffle on my ends. I wanna make sure it's kinda saturated. I'm gonna comb it out with a rat tooth comb, rat tooth, rat tail comb. And I'm gonna take the dread, dreaded um, hair and I'm gonna braid my hair into it. I, I think you all should know how to do a plait, right? We, we're just gonna braid it into it. And I'm only gonna braid it until my hair stops and just leave the rest hanging. Yep, and then I'm gonna do it for the rest of my hair. And this is how it should look. So, it splits into two. Okay, you're gonna grab a piece of your Cuban twist braiding hair and you're gonna flatten that thing out by kind of spreading it apart. Gonna do it all the way to the end. All right, then I'm gonna take it and I put it underneath my braid. That's just how I do it. I put it underneath and then I start twisting it around my hair. I do it about twice. I do it about two times just cause I don't want it to be too tight around my roots. And then that little piece, I just add it to the braid and I just twist the rest of the braid and hair around both of them. I did not do a good job of explaining that, so y'all just gonna need to watch, okay? So I'm wrapping, not twisting, there is a difference. I'm wrapping it. Okay, so now we're at the end of that braiding hair, and I still got a lot more to go, so I'm gonna grab another piece of my Cuban twist, gonna flatten it, and then I'm just gonna do the same thing I did earlier. Gonna add it underneath it, gonna add that little piece to the rest of the braid and then I'm just gonna twist it go twist it around or I'm sorry I'm just gonna wrap it around I should say that instead of twisting because we're not twisting we're wrapping <laughs> so yeah but just keep wrapping until I get to the very end so the reason why I use that um, dreaded hair to braid my hair with is because it's already a dread, if that makes sense. So if I run out of hair, that's still okay because that hair is a dread, if y'all catch my drift. <laughs> so I get to the very end, I like wrap it around and then I smooth it with my hands and that's what it looks like. So we're gonna do that again, okay? 
<laughs> Flat in your piece, put it underneath your braid, and then wrap it a couple times around the root. And then you're gonna start wrapping down. And keep going, and keep going. Once you get to the end of that, you're gonna add another piece. Make sure you flatten it out. You're gonna tuck it underneath, and then you're gonna wrap. You're gonna wrap. You're gonna wrap, wrap. You're gonna wrap. Yep, yep. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And rub it in your hand, and that's what it looks like. And this is my final result. I really love this hairstyle. It's my absolute go-to. It took me about six hours to do, but that's all I have for you, Coilies. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.